The tiger head is being controlled by the heartless. Crush the power of darkness. Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. I am planning to cut my video here and if I forget then it will just sound stupid because I'll be saying that in the middle of a part. But hopefully I don't. Okay, so this is the boss uh, that has caused me many a problem in the past. He moves around a lot. Um, you have to, as it said in the thing, to crush the power of darkness. Please stop moving. Uh, he fires out these things at you. He gets a lot harder later on. Trust me. And it won't let me climb on top of him. Maybe it will now that he's got his head down. Yes, it will. Oh, come on, let me on him. The only way to defeat him is to get on top of him and then to attack his eyes. Um, so it's not actually a cheap trick this time. It's actually necessary. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this boss is incredibly difficult. Um, he, he looks easy now because he's doing nothing. But he, he's one of those, like with most bosses, he gets gradually and gradually more harder and harder as the fight goes on. And Aladdin is just standing there doing nothing. I got some tech for doing something, I'm not sure what I did. But yeah, uh, just, just once you've destroyed both of his eyes, he is dead. To my, if my memory is correct. Ah, oh, I fell. Falling off is a bad idea because there is a lot of heartless down on the bottom. So try to stay on his back as much as you can, otherwise you'll get just completely destroyed by all of these heartless. Um, Oh, come on, let me get on back on top of him. <laughs> I sounded wrong, I don't care. Oh, God. Stop attacking me. Die. Good Lord. Come on, I won't... He needs to put his head back down, because I think that's how you get onto his back, and God, I just managed to... Ow, oh, never mind. Heal. Ugh, gotta remember to keep your health up. Don't just heal when... Oh, God, he's got his head down, come on. Oh, come on, weird glitches in this game can get incredibly irritating. Like, I just randomly glitched off his back there. You all saw it. Don't deny. Ugh, come on, put your head down. I'm not sure if there's, like, something I have to do to make him put his head down or what. But, if there is, then I'm not aware of it. Well, screw these guys. He's spitting out Heartless. Ugh, come on, just let me back onto your head. Yes, he's put his head down. And I'm on top again. Thank God. <laughs> oh, bad choice of words. Hang on. Oh, I guess that both of his eyes have a shared HP. Oh, lame. Even lamer. That really, really sucks. Why would he do that? Why would he knock me off? I'm only trying to destroy him. I'm trying to set him free, damn it. He's being controlled by evil. Just like some other guy that I can't think of an example of. Oh my god, the, the, the one thing that makes this boss fight hard is the camera angles. Just because just he's moving so much, you can't get a good view on him, which is annoying. That's a good thing, just stand behind him and do that, because <laughs> it, it kind of minimizes your chances of falling off. Oh god. Uh, and it does, it does a pretty pathetic amount of damage, if I'm honest, but a pathetic amount of damage is better than no damage at all, and I fell. Ah, oh, man. This isn't so great. Oh god, I just managed to heal in time. Come on, kill these guys, I need help. Help, help, help. Yeah, a good thing with this boss fight is that um, you can just kill... He, he, there's like an unlimited amount of Heartless because he just like spits them out, I think, or just creates them in some way. So, um, you've always got a source of health. Uh, so no matter what, you can heal. Oh, I really wish this guy was easier to climb onto. I nearly made it. Fuck's sake. This boss is so irritating. If this drags on for too long, then it'll just cut halfway through. <laughs> and, uh, oh, he's down, he's down, he's down. Fuck off, you twats. Fuck, 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 fuck. And welcome back, everybody. Oh, thank God for that. Oh, my God, that took such a long time. It has literally been six and a half minutes <laughs> since... Ah, oh, since the cut since the crossfade, whatever. Holy crap. That is one hard boss fight. Like I said, it just gets so hard. He moves his head so often, you're, you're constantly falling off. It's just so irritating. Let's go inside. The Cave of Wonders. Finally. You have no idea how much pain that was for me. Ah, oh, good lord. All right, so yes, the Cave of Wonders. The secondary area of the Aladdin world. This is actually an interesting area, if not rather annoying. Uh, it's kind of a big maze, unless I'm getting it mixed up with Kingdom Hearts 2's area, uh, which I'm hoping I'm not. But yeah, 
Oh god. I hate it when the big guys are on small, like, area platform thingies heal. I don't want to die just in case I have to refight that damn boss. If I have to refight that boss from dying, I'll, I think I'll just cry. <laughs> oh my god, everyone already just died. Ugh. Oh, I'm so tired of fighting enemies now because I've just been doing it for such an, a long time. Oh my god. I can't believe I, like. Ugh. The amount of time that took me. I'm so annoyed with that. That is just so irritating. I hate that boss fight with a passion. There's logs. Oh, not, not logs, but there's giant balls of death, shall we say. Hey, you Blaze Jump. And Donald's dead, as per usual. Donald can suck it. Die. Boom. Yes, got him off and knocked him out. That is why Sonic is so helpful. Because it knocks them out. And knocking out big guys is insanely helpful. Let's heal even though it's kind of a waste because it doesn't optimize the healing abilities of Cure. But whatever, I don't care. I don't want to risk dying at all. I know there's a save point, I think, in the next room. I can't wait to reach it. I think I'll just be so happy for reaching a save point. And thank you, Donald. You did something helpful. I think it was Donald who killed him. Okay, but something I remembered during that boss fight is that I actually got a new ability for Sora. Uh, which is Blitz. Strike enemies ahead of you with a powerful finishing combo. Uh, I will be equipping this. I think I'll just go to Sonic. Even though I've said, I just said it's quite helpful, I think I prefer Blitz to my memory. I'll try it out. If I don't like it, I'll just swap it back. It's just that easy. And the only reason I was killing those guys is because I wanted this chest, which has a Mega Ether in it. How nice. Uh, isn't there another chest around here somewhere? I don't want to risk missing anything, because as soon as I leave this area, and then come back, like, all the enemies are respawned, screw it, enemies have spawned, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, I don't care. Oh, this sounds like a big main area that could have a save point in it. Areas with save points in it, if you notice, areas with save points in them never have enemies in them, and this definitely won't have an e a save point in it, because it's too big not to have enemies. That is just something I can guarantee you. Yep, there they are, mini heartless. Oh, one of those big guys. On a small platform, just as I said. I hate them on small platforms. They spawn on small platforms. Um, where am I going in here? Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm going to assume avoiding those flames is a good idea. Uh, I know there's a chest in this room somewhere. Where does this lead? Bottomless hall. I'm not going to be going there yet. But I'm not sure what the bottomless hall is. And I got a, I got a question mark there, so I'm assuming that... Um, that was a chest, maybe. I'm just going to kill every Heartless so I can actually have a look around. Where am I? What? What? Okay, apparently I fell down a hole, maybe? I don't know, there's a chest here. Boom. Torn page! That is exactly what I was looking for. That is the only interesting uh, thing in this dungeon. There is a big blue chest up there. Um, yes, the torn page. If you remember that book that Merlin gave us, that is what that's for. I won't be stating the exact nature of it because I want to get... Uh, I think there's seven torn pages in the game and I want to get all seven before I start talking about what it is. But it is one of my... Eh, I wouldn't say favourite. One of my favourite uh, ideas for the world, like one of my favourite character worlds, but not one of my favourite worlds in terms of what you do there. Like in terms of the gameplay there, uh, I don't enjoy it just as I don't enjoy the environments of this world, but... Uh, cottage. I probably won't ever use that during the game. I don't think I've ever used a cottage in this game. Um, but yeah, uh, just as I... I... It's hard to explain, but in short, um, I don't like... Whatever. Basically, it's one of my favourite worlds. Let's just, put it like, let's just say that instead of getting all confused. And I think... I think I'm reaching the time limit. I have no idea because I have, I'm going to have to cut out a lot because of that big boss fight. That totally screwed me over. But, um, okay, I'm just going to cut it here, guys. So, this has been part... I want to say 38. I really don't like locking myself into these kind of things because it's always wrong. But this has been Let's Play Kingdom Hearts on the PlayStation 2. Uh, we beat that damn boss. And next time, we'll be continuing inside the Cave of Wonders. See you guys then. Bye-bye.